Hi, I'm John, founder of CX Sandberg. Uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, my experience as a professional gamer, and then what are some of the lessons that I learned that I'm applying into my role as a CEO of a company. So, a lot of um, startup founders or you know uh, gamers tend to ask me like, "Hey, how was the experience like doing professional gaming in Korea?" So a little bit of background, um, I was Korea's number one professional gamer in Unreal Tournament and world's number three back in the year 2000, uh, WCGC. That was uh, one of the largest professional gaming event that was hosted by Samsung and a few others. Um, so it was a pretty fun experience. I was still in my late teens uh, playing first-person first shooters. So I guess I was pretty good at that. Um, there was a lot of wins and losses, uh, meaning I lost a lot of my prize money. I spent a lot of money on buying a stupid amount of mouse. I bought like $10,000 of mouse. I don't know if you remember, but there were like things like ball mouses that people tend to use. These days, a lot of people use like laser mouse. So I bought $10,000 worth of it, obviously, which became pretty much obsolete within a couple of years when the laser mouse came out. Also bought like eight computers and I would invite everyone, all of my friends to my home. We played games for hours, in the wee hours, and um, it was pretty fun. But I didn't know anything about investing in stocks or whatnot. So it was a pretty terrible way to invest in highly depreciating assets. And uh, I also turned out to be a pretty horrible son back then. Uh, but on the, I quit playing games on the day I became world's number three because um, I sort of like realized by looking at sort of the two players above me like number two okay it was like doable but that uh, the best player in the world I looked at this guy and it was like really serious uh, he had a coach he had a sponsorship he's playing like as if the game was his entire life and in that moment I sort of realized I didn't want to live a life like this so instead of consuming things I decided to spend my life on creating things. So I went back to school, finished my studies, and then right after graduating, I started my first company. Uh, and after four and a half years of running that, um, I, we got acquired by a public company in Japan. But anyway, so I guess two valuable lessons learned while playing this professional gaming. Um, one is being self-aware and being disciplined. Uh, in order to compete, not at a local level, but really at a national level and world level, you got to figure out a way to assess yourself pretty objectively, like professional athletes. you got to figure out what your, where your strengths are uh, and what are your weaknesses are. It could be uh, you know, relevant to what maps you're playing and what kind of weapons you're using. You have to really figure out a way to break down each part of your uh, practice routines and figure out a way to really mitigate your shortcomings and be really disciplined and also figure out a way to connect all of those moves and strategies in a very harmonious way so that uh, you can compete and be really flexible in uh, a lot of different situations so it requires a lot of self-awareness and you know, just discipline to play quite seriously so that uh, gave a lot of training in terms of persevering. Also just being able to break your really bad habits and correcting them over a long period of time. And the other factor is what people tend to call peak experiences. So peak experience is something when people, you know, reach, reach a certain level in their career or in whatever they do, could be again sports, you sort of build uh, that level of confidence and that level of sheer joy that uh, that you can sort of use to uh, I guess challenge or you know adventure into different areas in life for instance um, in my case it was you know starting a company and because I had that experience of being at, at a world class in something that gave me a lot of confidence uh, in doing something that I actually in retrospect knew nothing about uh, but just being there uh, you sort of had this hope, but also try to figure out, again, self-assessing and being disciplined to reaching that goal um, while you're doing a startup. Um, I think that uh, that level of confidence and that sort of like self high self-esteem really helped me uh, persevere through a lot of the dark tunnels, uh, a lot of challenges that 
everyone just have to experience while they're running their own companies. So uh, I think those two, two things, one, being self-aware and being disciplined, and two, just going through the peak experience really um, helped me uh, convey that energy into running, uh, I guess, a couple of companies across over 10 years now. So um, that was a pretty good lesson to learn. But again, if you have your friends or you know your kids playing games for too long, uh, you have to really help them uh, instead of consuming things in life figure out a way to convey or channel that energy into creating things because you know there is a lot of uh, time that goes into playing games so a after a certain while you might want to start shifting that energy towards being more crea creative or being more I guess productive in life so yeah uh, those are my two lessons learned while being a professional gamer and then now running a startup. So yeah, thank you.